question number 74 each transistor in darlington pair this is a darlington pair the question which is given it's called darlington pair okay so this type of configuration so each transistor in darlington pair as hfe hfe is nothing but beta i think you already know it is nothing but beta common emitter gain also we can call this so beta for this is 100 even for this the beta is 100 so it is connected in darlington pair darlington pair means emitter is connected to base of it emitter is connected to base of it and the collector of this and this collector of this are connected to single point so both collectors are connected to same point and the emitter of first one is connected to base of the second one so the base of this and base of this i'm not connected they have some supplies other supplies okay fine this is the connection of darlington pair now what he is asking what is the overall beta hfa means beta what is the overall beta of a composite transistor neglecting the leakage currents okay fine now let me explain you this is a very simple question so i have considered the figure once again i'll explain you this yeah so i have considered the figure now i let me highlight this I have marked all those as I assumed it as beta 1 and beta 2 luckily here the beta is same for both the transistor but let let me derive the expression for beta 1 and beta 2 as different so in exam in this year exam you may get first transistor as a beta as 100 second it can be have 50 49 whatever so let me derive for different beta values okay so assume that first transistor as a HFE as beta 1 second as a HFE as beta 2 overall beta I need to find now in terms of beta 1 and beta 2 so for this purpose i have considered all the currents so input current is nothing but iv1 i have taken for first transistor input uh, collector current also i have taken as all into the transistor okay uh, collector current i have taken ic1 and sorry these two are into this is out because ib plus ib plus ic will give ie so these two are entering this is leaving so ie is an npn transistor so ie1 i have taken for this for second transistor also i have taken ib2 entering IC2 entering and IE2 leaving. So total six currents I have marked on this figure. Now let me write the relations of this. So the relation is the common relation is IE is nothing but IB plus IC. You already know this. IE is nothing but IB plus IC. Then what is IC? IC is nothing but beta IB. This also everybody knows. Neglecting the reverse saturation currents on IC, not all those things. You have given clearly in the question. You can neglect the leakage currents. I think leakage currents you can neglect. So IB and beta IB. So it becomes appro uh, approximately 1 plus beta into IB. I think everybody knows. IE is nothing but 1 plus beta into IB. So let us keep that aside. So for first transistor I'm writing IE1 is equal to 1 plus beta 1 into IB1. For second transistor also I'm writing 1 plus beta 2 into IB2. Okay, I think this is clear for everyone. You can see from the figure that IE1 and IB2 both are equal. IE1 is equal to IB2. So what I'll do is I'll replace this IE1 with IB2. Okay, so this I'll replace with IB2. So IB2 is nothing but 1 plus beta 1 into IB1. So instead of this, I can write it as IB2, right? IB2 is nothing but 1 plus beta 1 into IB1. So what you got is, this is not there for this question, but it's a general equation what I would like to say. Total second emitter current in terms of, see what we want is emitter final output current in terms of current input current. These are, see you can see the terminals. See, this is one, this is one, and one second this is one this is the overall character collector is same for both right this is the overall collector this is the see if you pack this in in a packed format okay if you make it in a box this like overall base this like overall collector this like overall emitter what I want to say is I want to give the relationship between overall base overall emitter overall collector so that's what my main aim so overall emitter the current is nothing but IE2 itself so overall current IE2 is nothing but some factors times IB so you know this uh, in general IE is nothing but 1 plus beta into IB this is in general but here the overall IE is nothing but 1 plus beta 1 into 1 plus beta 2 into ib if he, this time in exam if he has don't miss this question so overall ie is nothing but 1 plus beta 1 multiplied with 1 plus beta 2 into ib1 
this is the overall current expression in terms of input base current fine now let us see overall collector in terms of base okay fine now yeah so overall collector IC is nothing but beta IB everybody knows right IC2 is nothing but beta 2 into IB2 but what is IB2 have clearly given here you can see here you can see here this point so IB2 is nothing but 1 plus beta 1 into IB1 so instead of IB2 I have written 1 plus beta 1 IB1 so overall collector is nothing but beta 2 into 1 plus beta 1 into IB1 so IC by IB see overall beta is nothing but overall collector current overall collector current is nothing but IC1 or IC2 because both collectors are same so IC2 divided by overall base overall base is IB1 so IC2 divided by IB1 IC2 by IB1 is nothing but beta 2 into 1 plus beta 1 so this is nothing but overall beta fine so in this way we can solve this question now you in this way you can get the answer as beta 2 into 1 plus beta 1 so the right choice you can look over the options here beta 1 and beta 2 are same so beta into 1 plus beta so 100 into 101 okay let me do that 100 into 101 because beta 2 beta into 1 plus beta beta 1 beta 2 are equal right beta is 100 100 into 101 so 100 into 101 you'll get 101 100 so 101 100 is the right choice so option 6 is the right choice this is a previous year question this also very important so i hope you understood if you have any queries post them in the comment box and subscribe the channel for getting more updates